Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and children of all ages? How are you peoples doing? Before this video gets underway, I just want to tell you guys that I'm going to be playing league matches tonight. It's We're going to try to go 5-0. Right now, we're 3-0 in our league currently, and we're trying to increase that lead to 5-0. Uh, I was planning on live streaming it, but like I said in my last video, my internet's pretty shitty. So I'm going to try to record it, maybe upload it, depending on how we do, and put it on my channel. Hopefully you guys will like that. I'm trying to get into more competitive stuff. And what you guys are going to be watching right now is a DNA bomb. I forget what the map this is. It's, uh, what am I saying? It's Biolab. I'm using the BAL-27, picking up other guns because we run out of ammo so fast in this game. Anyway, topic of this commentary is going to be based around YouTube and how the commentary scene has died in the past couple years. Now, as we know, Call of Duty was founded on the casual commentary, people uh, talking about their lives or stuff that's going on and talking about sto funny stories and all that shit, and pretty much how YouTube became a full-time job for some people in the early days, like people like Blame Truth, Wings of Redemption, people like that. They got famous based off a of basic everyday commentary, and as we see now, that has kind of died, and there is a big reason for that, and that is because there's people who, there's so many people on YouTube now that it's almost, it's become almost impossible to freely speak your mind without getting a shitload of hate. Uh, this guy, this guy DJ Keem, oh, what am I saying, his name's Keemstar, he made a video talking about the Iraq war and his thoughts on it, and he got a shitload of hate for it. And he got death threats and a lot of crazy shit. And that should never happen, guys. Everyone, like, that's what makes YouTube so great is that we have the ability to say what we want. We, we, people shouldn't be getting death threats for expressing their opinions. If you want to uh, express your own opinions, make your own YouTube channel, make your own videos and all that stuff. Um, don't be a little pussy in the chat calling him names. Or calling anyone names in general. Like, if you have your own views, uh, express them in a way that's not in a version of, like, not a douchebag version of those opinions. Uh, if you have legit opinions, you wouldn't need to express it in such a douchebag uh, form of expression. And I was about, I was, that was a mixture of two words. I was, I forget what the first word was, but it mixed with and, so it sounded really fucking weird. But... Anyway, this kind of goes on to the fact that we see all these commentary, uh, com uh blah, these people who rely on commentaries, they pretty much have really low subscriber levels compared to people like PewDiePie who do live gameplay and comedy stuff, and it's because you can't talk about anything anymore. People, there's so much hate in this community, I, I even get hate for no reason, like people just randomly dislike the video. I, I don't know why people don't tell me why. Like, if you're gonna leave a comment, a negative comment, at least make it a uh, criticism, a constructive criticism, not a douchebag kind of like, oh, you're ugly thing. I, I don't get that, but people do do that a shitload on YouTube, and it's really fucking sad when you see that shit, because it be, the question becomes, wh where is the... Vice, where's the, mm, where's the, oh, dude, watch this kid get fucked, can shit on, where's the, um, I, I can't think of the right word, but where's, like, what's the point of your comment, if all you're doing is saying something that has no need to be there, so, like, what I'm pretty much trying to get at is, there's a difference between and I, I did a video on this, the difference between freedom of speech and being a douchebag, being a complete fucking dick, where some person will express their feelings and you'll completely shit on them without getting anything, like, achieving anything in the process. And that's a humongous problem with YouTube so far. I just got the DNA bomb right there. I would have gotten it sooner, but the fucking round ended halfway through. That's kind of a bummer. Uh, so... Anyway, <laughs> this is this is what has caused the commentary scene to really just be fucked in the ass, if you may. And these channels are slowly 
but surely deteriorating and dying. And it's just a really sad thing to see. A lot of these channels were originally the biggest channels on YouTube, and now they're slowly slipping through the cracks because they can't express their feelings. And guys, I was an absolutely sniping kids in this game. It was really fun. This was actually when the servers were down. I was still somehow online for some reason. It was kind of weird. I was on a two bar and a three bar this game. The server, it was fucking horrible. Uh, fun fact, no one hacked the Microsoft servers. They took it down for like, they gl something glitched in their system and they took it down themselves. I don't know exactly, but this video is just about over. If you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a thumbs up or like status, whatever whatever the setting is. I forget. I think it's a thumbs up. Like, what? I don't fucking know. Just like the video, okay? Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Favorite the video. Do whatever the fuck you want, really. Just make sure you subscribe and like the video. <laughs> wink, wink. And I will see you boys and girls and all whoever the fuck is watching this, guys. I will see you later. Alright, see ya.